Hi, this is Glitter Wasp live from the Palace of the Soul in San Francisco, your inner paradise lounge. It is May 28th, 2013, and I'm here with you in front of an image called the Gilded Mermaid, an image that I created. And I'm really um, here connecting with this spirit of the sea because I'm really feeling the need to um, get back into my own rhythm and into my flow. And as you know, I've been traveling and um, it was really, really the energy of New York and the East Coast is so different from California. It's very much more intense and frenetic energy. And I came home and it's a long trip I felt very exhausted and yet I had to hit the ground running because I needed to check guests, clean up the apartment, check guests into the Palace of the Soul and do the grocery shopping, go to my son's senior project presentation. So I had to push myself a little bit. I really felt myself hitting the wall today and so I knew that it was time to really honor myself for a few days and really, really honor my own rhythm. So I canceled some of my appointments and I'm going to take some time to really rest and care for myself and honor my rhythm and my flow and connecting with the sea spirits like this mermaid really helps me to do that. And I want to really encourage you to become aware of what your rhythm is. Maybe your rhythm is intense and frenetic like New York, but maybe not. And it's really important that we honor our own innate rhythms and that we get to know them and become aware of them that we can take time and really, whatever the demands of our life, to really allow ourselves and give ourselves permission to honor what our rhythm is. And mine is much more flowy and softer and gentler than the energy of New York. So I'm just gonna reconnect with that by reconnecting with this mermaid. And as I connect with my own rhythm, I feel better. I feel more alive. I feel happier. I feel more joyful. And I have more energy inside myself and to give to others. So over the next few days, I'm going to really take that time to reconnect with that part of me. And I do want to share with you a little bit of the story of the Gilded Mermaid. So I will tell you her story. So her name is Aurora, and she awoke. As her name, Aurora, foretold in the shining dawn, drifting between the worlds in the realm between wakefulness and sleep. Visions from her dream fluttered back to her through the haze. Sunken treasures, shipwrecks, drifting gold beams of light through clear turquoise waters. She heard the call of the sea like a soft, hypnotic, chanting rhythm as the, wave lapped, as the waves lapped upon the shore, calling her to leap into their depths. Each day, she had been diving deeper and deeper, gaining courage and strength for her final sacred ordeal of plunging to the greatest depth. The humans who were her friends awaited her on the shore. They sensed the importance of her journey. There were only two humans whom she knew well, the fragile, delicate woman who comes twice, once or twice a week in her silver chair with wheels. She cannot walk anymore and carries constant pain as her burden. 
Yet she sits and works mysterious spells to create the most exquisite jewelry Aurora has ever seen. They share poetry and stories, and one day she gives Aurora a gift of a beautiful necklace and belt she has made. Aurora wears these to bring her courage and luck for her long dive. And this is the belt, the beautiful belt. She also wears barnacles, which were gifted to her by her other human friend, the one whom she thinks of as the lonely wanderer of the sea. He left them one day for her on her favorite rock, and she asked the woman to add them to her belt and necklace. She is now ready for her journey. If she returns with the gold, she will bring faith, healing, and a blessing back to them. The unquenchable radiance of the gold shines like the sun. It holds the promise of eternal life. The purity of her spirit brings success and she swims strongly toward the surface. Her tail, her belt, and her necklace have been newly gilded with fine gold leaf. Her dreams have transcended time and space, for who has gold has a treasure that even helps souls to paradise. She has faced the ordeal of darkness and is now reborn proclaiming. In the dawning of this new age, I am the Aquarian who will surge forth from the watery depths to dwindle schisms that have divided worlds. From sea to land, my daring spirit will bring the glorious message of profound peace and deep, expansive, everlasting love. So, there she is. And this is Glitter Wasp signing off on May 28th from the Palace of the Soul with these recommendations. Honor your own inner rhythms. Get to know them. aware of them and journal about them. I will be back again tomorrow with another daily glitteration. I really want to hear from you. I want to know if you want me to keep on with these glitterations past the end of May and what you would like me to share with you. I would love your comments. Come visit me on my Palace of the Soul fan page on Facebook. The universe and I are sending you big hugs. I love you.